Hey cycling community, this is Steve Grusis, the Cycling Greek. This is, this is my uh, glove liner that goes over the gloves. This is episode one of the T-Block. Now that I've solidified my main goal for next year, which is the Tour de Gila, I have to incorporate a lot of block training in my training. It's gotten cold out here. It's 36 degrees right now. Not super cold for people who've been back east or in the Midwest, but it's uh, pretty cold for California. So I'm going to meet my team. We're going to have a pre-Thanksgiving ride. Let's see how it goes. Designing a training block is an art. First, you have to identify the goal that you want to accomplish for this training block. Second, you want to design specific workouts to help you accomplish your goal. Third, you want to make sure that the block you design is not too easy so you're not getting the full benefits of your time on the bike. And fourth, you want to make sure that it's not too hard so that you overcook yourself and not able to complete your training block nor meet your goal. Years ago, the last time I did the Tour de Gila, the T block I designed was zone two endurance based with a number of 20 minute intervals sprinkled in. This year, because of my end of season double century and my off season work with long, strong distances, time trial work, and a sprinkling of upper intensity intervals, I decided to do something different. This block is going to be a lot harder, such that it could violate rule number four, making it so hard that you're not able to complete the block nor the goal. All four days are going to be a group ride. The first three days are going to start off with 20 miles of endurance work, 30 to 60 miles depending on the course, of strong steady efforts and race play, and finish with 20 miles of endurance. The fourth day is going to be about 20 minutes of warm up and then we're going to go right into 60 to 75 minutes of pace line work at zone 3, 30 second pulls. With about 40 to 50 minutes left in the ride, we're going to do a 20 minute time trial and then we're going to finish with a 3 mile maximum effort. My goals for this training block are to increase my stamina in the areas of zone 3 tempo, zone 3 and a half steady state, and aggressive survivability. An example of aggressive survivability is answering an attack making the connection, recovering quickly, and sustaining your effort on the wheels of that attacker. Did I design this training block correctly? Only time will tell in about three and a half days.